Hey folks, Ivan here with a static and dynamic camera control tutorial for you. Uh, this is a uh, recently updated for 6.4 feature that has been featured in previous uh, versions of the game. But again, it's been updated for 6.4 to add some additional features, which are fantastic, and I'll go over those later on. Uh, to access this mode, you have to have access to spectator modes, which means that your game either has to be in creative, or you have to have admin mode, uh, admin access that is. So if you're on a server, you're going to have to talk to your server admin slash owner regarding re uh, gaining those permissions. Now static ca uh, camera controls are pretty simple and straightforward. The commands are as followed. Alt-C to copy your position and Alt-V to paste in your position. Um, now the reason it's paste in is because you can copy your position in game and edit it outside of the game and we'll go over that in just a moment but first let's show off the uh, copying so alt c i've copied my position now if i were to move to a different position say over here i could press alt v and i go right back to where i was before so let's go ahead and go to a notepad and show you what i mean as far as editing that uh, line of code all right, so here is the line of code in a notepad plus plus. Now the first feature here is the timestamp. Now that's not necessarily used for static camera uh, positioning. So we'll ignore this. The second uh, position is for field of view. Again, we're gonna ignore that. Now here is the, the features here. This, um, as far as your positioning goes, if we were to change, say, the Z to seven or a different number we go off into the said uh, position in fact we'll demonstrate that right there so we'll just put that in there we'll copy the entire line here and we'll go back to the game okay we're back in the game now we've copied that different line so it's overridden the the code that was in the game already and we're just going to press alt v and as you can see now we are at a different position from the original copied position. So that is all for static and dynamic camera controls. Next we'll move on to the dynamic uh, camera controls. All right, so to start off, I decided to show off the key bindings here. Uh, we have already discussed the static uh, camera controls, which are here, the Alt-C and Alt-V. Now moving on to the dynamic camera controls here. This is add waypoint, which is shift alt A, copy waypoints, which is shift alt C. And what that does is that it allows us to copy all waypoints that have been set so far. And then we can take those into a notepad or a word file to uh, modify them as shown with the static uh, camera controls. Then we've got the paste which works just like the paste position before but it pastes all of the waypoints that we have copied and it uh, erases all of the previous waypoints so say I've got one that goes from A to B to C and then I copy one that goes D to E to, to F it removes the first one set that I just spoke about then there is cut which just takes the entire uh, set of waypoints you already have and erases them as well. So it copies them to a clipboard, you can paste them into a notepad, you can paste them back into the game, but it removes them from the the, the game's uh, waypoint registry. The next one is clear waypoints, which is shift alt E, and that just completely clears all waypoints. So be careful with that one. If you wanted those waypoints, you better make sure that you have them saved either in a notepad or otherwise. And then the last thing is the toggle waypoint following, which is where you toggle the camera to follow the waypoints from point one to point two to point three. All right, we're going to go ahead and set up a few waypoints here by pressing Shift Alt A to start off with. We're going to go past our guy there. We're going to shift down here, and again press that uh, the key combination. We're going to come here. Shift, Alt, A, and then we're going to swing up here, and we're just going to keep pressing that command until we've gotten to a point where we want to stop using waypoints. There we go. 
And so we have our set of waypoints set up. And what we're going to do is shift alt space bar. And that leads us through all the waypoints we just set. And it will keep looping until we press shift alt space bar again. And it will, then it will stop the camera. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the waypoints we have available. We can either do that by cutting them with shift alt X or shift alt C, which will keep them in the game. We're going to do shift alt C. Okay, we're back into our notepad again. Now, as mentioned before, these are seconds, and this is the field of view. Now, what this is, is one second from the original point, two seconds from the original point, three seconds from the original point, four seconds from the original point, and five seconds from the original point. So, th this is key to note that if you were, say, to put this at five, well, this will actually come somewhere around at the very end now, as opposed to in this order. So what you want to make sure is that you go five, we'll say seven, uh, we will go eight, 12, and 13, we'll say. And so that keeps our waypoints in order. And what we're going to do next is we're going to change this field of view here to 120. We'll go back down to seven. Uh, we'll go down to twenty. Back up to seventy, and we will go to. Uh, let's do an extreme of ten, and back down to seventy or back to seventy. All right. So that's all of our set points. Now we could change the positions here, the camera angle, etc., but we're just going to concern ourselves with time, and. Uh, field, field of view. So we'll go back in the game. All right, we're back in the game. We've copied our code. We're going to go ahead and press Shift Alt V and that pastes that code into the game and it overrides the code we had before. Now to run that uh, camera code, we're going to go ahead and press Shift Alt Spacebar again. And as you see, we've kind of gone slow. Our field of view vision has changed. It's kind of wonky. We're moving in weird positions. Ugh. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and look over the next additional information I have available for you. All right, the next thing I wanted to discuss is the debug mode, which will allow you to see the waypoints. And the default for that is Shift F12. And it'll come up with this. You're entering de the developer debug screen. Uh, we're going to click yes, we're going to click the debug draw, and we're going to press escape to escape out of that. Now, as you can see, here's the waypoints, and it even gives you the timestamp for them. It will also affect how quickly everything turns around. All right, And we're going to go ahead and disable that and move on. All right, so the last thing that has been added for 6.4 is these three new styles uh, for the camera movement, which are smooth, smooth step, and linear. And hopefully you can see those. Those will also be in the description down below. And I'll show you how to add those into your waypoints. So it can actually be any simpler than this. It, all you have to do is paste in or type in the, the, the word. That's it, right above your positioning. And all you have to do is copy that all and then paste it right into the game. All right, this first one is smooth. I've already pasted it in. So you can see it it should be relatively smooth as per its uh, wording. All right, and then we will move on to smooth step. All right, here is smooth step. So you can see it kind of pauses at each position and then moves forward. All right, now on to linear. All right, and here is linear.
All right, so that's the three styles. That again is smooth, smooth step, and linear. Uh, the only issue is that you can only use one per set of waypoints. So I can't go from A to B using smooth and B to C using smooth, uh, smooth step and so on and so forth. I can only use smooth, smooth step, or linear at a time, at one at a time. And that's going to do it for this video. If you got any questions or comments, comment sections down below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Uh, I didn't know that this was a feature until 6.4, so I highly recommend, sh recommend sharing this or telling other players about this feature, especially if they're into uh, recording videos uh, such as myself. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.